Here we go again. Rules without relationships leads to rebellion. And a key principle, another one, of building that bridge to relationships is affection. You see, when we show affection to a child or to anyone, we say to that child, I am loved. In, in the Gospel of John, John 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, everywhere throughout the New Testament, Jesus says, love one another. The commandment that I leave with you, that you love one another, that's mom, dad, divorce mom, divorce dad, love your child. And you know what it says to that child? I am lovable. You know, God created us to be loved. And if, if a child does not get it from mom and dad, then they are going to turn to their peers. And I'll tell you this, if they don't get it from mom and dad, then the parents have almost lost the right to criticize them. When they turn to their peers to prove to themselves, I am loved. There's several ways to express that. The first, we need to express that love verbally. Our children need to hear us over and over and over again. I love you, I love you, I love you, an equivalent like that. Now my goal was, and I'm not saying it should be your goal, my goal was that every time I was home with my children every day, they would hear me at least 10 times say to each one of them, I love you or an equivalent to it. Now look, to be, to be real honest, most days I didn't do it 10 times. Some days maybe once, twice, three. But sometimes maybe I did it 15 times. But my goal was always 10 times a child would hear me every day say, I love you. Now look, if you've got a 16-year-old son at home, and you've never told him I loved you or hugged him, and you go tonight and walk into their room, take their earphones off, say, son, I love you, and throw your arms around, give them a hug, look, they'll probably vomit on the carpet. And I'll guarantee you, they'll say, mom, dad is sick, but the kid threw up. Try to explain that one. You've got to work up to it little by little by little. The best time is to start when they're born. That at that early age, they just hear you over, I love you, I love you. But I'll tell you this, a teenager needs it as much, if not more, than when they were a small child. I challenge you, not only to your own children, but to your neighbors, to your friends, to be able to express that love, that affection, in a verbal way, I love you, I care about you, I think a lot about you, you are special to me. And you know what that does? It builds a bridge to a relationship. Now, there's a second aspect of expressing love, and I'll touch on it in the next segment.